Where is Mikey going with Pepsi? <laughs> what a wonderful day today. I'll drink a chilled jar, drink Pepsi, and sunbathe beautifully in the sun. I have a day off. I can just relax. Today will be my best weekend ever. Now I'm running to the beach in order to sit on a chaise long and have a good time. The weather is just wonderful. It's warm outside. I'm finally sitting quietly. Oh. It's time to open a can of Pepsi. How delicious it is. So sweet and with bubbles. Nothing will ruin my day. I can see from afar how Mikey is enjoying his vacation. He doesn't hear me and I keep following him. I'm going to get closer now to find a way to get to his can of Pepsi. He just got up from the couch. It seems he's going to go somewhere. I completely forgot. I need to go home and get a towel. I wanted to swim in the river. I'll leave a can of Pepsi here. Huh? Mikey's gone home now. This is my chance to make a really fun joke about him. I want to get into a Pepsi jar while Mikey's not around. It's time to move there. Now I have the perk in my hands. I'm shrinking and moving. I'm inside a Pepsi jar. I'm going to sprinkle salt. Mikey doesn't know anything about this. Now I need to make a small platform for myself out of planks so that I can stand properly. Mikey will be back here soon and he'll want to drink Pepsi again. I'll need a lot of salt, then Mikey won't be able to drink it properly. Oh, <laughs> I think it will be a lot of fun when he feels how salty the drink is. I just need to throw salt cubes right now. I pour out everything I have, but I need to spread it evenly, almost all over the jar. I'm sure Mikey won't even be able to finish it because the drink will become disgusting. My first prank is going according to plan. So far, Mikey hasn't come and I don't feel like a can of Pepsi has been lifted. Therefore, I will scatter some more salt. The more of it there is, the more Mikey will be surprised at how salty Pepsi has become. <laughs> we need to finish now because he can come back at any moment. I think there is enough salt now. Now it remains to wait for Mikey to come to the jar. I came to rest further. It got hot outside. I need to cool off. I'll drink some Pepsi from a jar. It's very cool and delicious right now. <laughs> Why is Pepsi so salty? I'm just starting to cough now. I've never tried anything worse. It's a terrible drink and maybe I just imagined it. I need to take a couple more sips now. Maybe I was wrong. No, it's very salty. It's impossible to drink. I don't understand what happened to Pepsi now. It was very sweet and delicious before, but now it has become salty. It's very strange. I don't understand anything right now. <laughs> Great, I got to make fun of Mikey. He still did not understand why Pepsi became salty. My second prank, I'm going to use the prepared buckets of lava now. I'll spill as much of it as possible so that Mikey gets burned. It will take a lot of lava because now Mikey has completely finished his Pepsi. The jar is empty so I pour a lot of lava here. I want to see Mikey drink it as soon as possible, but now the most important thing is not to get burned on it yourself because the lava is hot and does a lot of damage if it hits me. Oh. If Mikey drinks it, he'll burn his whole mouth. Now I've spilled enough lava and I think that's the end of it. Now it remains to wait for him to take his first sips. Now there is enough lava in the Pepsi jar. I poured all the buckets that I had and I think this prank should definitely work. Hmm. Mikey is going to drink lava now. It's a wonderful vacation. I'm sitting on a chaise long and doing nothing. I'll drink some more Pepsi. I know it's left in the jar. Ah! Horror, why does it hurt so much now? My hat caught fire. I need to put myself out urgently. I'm going to jump into the water now. I don't understand why now. After my sips, I burned my mouth very badly. The good thing is that I was able to put out the fire on the hat. Most likely the Pepsi jar was heated in the sun. We need to cool it and put it in ice. I don't understand what's going on with this Pepsi jar. Now I just have to wait for it to cool down. We need to put even more ice because it got very hot and it became impossible to drink it. My mouth hurts a lot now. I think that now you need to sit in the water in order to cool your body. I don't want to get burned so much anymore. I'll drink Pepsi more carefully now. I wonder how long it will take to cool this jar. <sighs> What's going on here now? I don't understand. It seems Mikey has now decided to cool this jar and all the lava has evaporated. Now there is a lot of ice here. You need to pour as much Pepsi as possible in order not to arouse suspicion. I want Mikey to start drinking it again and not be afraid of anything. Ho <laughs> oh, ho, I'll pour the rest of the drink. But what should I do after that? Now I need to think. There is a lot of Pepsi now and it is cooled by ice and will definitely want to drink it. 
I have a very cool idea. I will definitely use it now. I'm jumping into a tube so Mikey can drink me. Now you just need to jump in and not miss the moment when Mikey starts drinking. <laughs> Great, I managed to get inside the tube. Now I feel like I'm being lifted up because Mikey is starting to drink. This is very good. I will finally get out of this jar soon. But the most interesting thing is that now Mikey will definitely swallow me because now he has taken a tube in his mouth and is drinking Pepsi. <gasps> I can't believe my eyes. After all, it happened. I'm really inside Mikey's stomach right now. It's amazing. It seems I've sunk very deep and I can't see anything. I need to free myself a little now. I see that Mikey really drank a lot of Pepsi. Now I'm inside his stomach, I need to get out of here urgently. Now I need to think carefully, because I won't be able to get out of Mikey's stomach just like that. Oh, I remembered, I have Mentos. Now if I throw it in Pepsi, then Mikey will start having very strong gases inside, and I will quickly jump back out. Now we need to pour Mentos as much as possible and wait for the gases to start appearing. There is a lot of Mentos in Mikey's stomach right now. Bubbles are starting to appear and I have to throw more. I can't believe I'm really getting to the top right now. Oh, I'll be out of Mikey's system soon. I have a very sick stomach. I don't understand what's going on there at all. It's very unpleasant and I feel like something is coming out of me now. How unpleasant it feels. I think I have some kind of stomach problem. <laughs> JJ, what were you doing inside my stomach? Mikey, I was just inside your body because I accidentally got there. Most likely, you had some problems because of Pepsi. We urgently need to find out why you feel so bad. Don't you think it's weird? I think the best solution now is if you call the seller. Ho <laughs> oh. Exactly how I didn't figure it out before. Most likely it's all because of Pepsi. The seller probably sold it to me expired. Look, I see that he's driving a car here now. Let's run up to him and find out. I don't want to just drink a bad drink. It should be fresh and delicious. Wait, can you explain why Pepsi made me feel bad? You stopped me so abruptly, I was a little confused. Everything is fine with my product. You'd better go to the factory now and find out why it got so bad. I don't sell bad goods, I always have the freshest and best. Oh. Great, that's a very good idea. If we run to the factory now, then we will find out exactly what the main reason is. Thank you so much for giving us such a hint. Soon we will definitely find out why they sell bad Pepsi. Run faster after me. We have very little time right now. Mikey, wait. You're running really fast. I can't keep up. <laughs> we came to the Pepsi factory. They produce jars here and which you really like to drink. Ask as soon as possible. Let them show you the whole production. You won't believe it, but recently I was very badly poisoned. After I drank your can of Pepsi, I felt very sick. I'd like to know how you cook it. Maybe after all the problem is in production and we can finally solve it so that others don't get poisoned. Hmm, why did you just walk into this factory? No outsiders are allowed in here, but if you want to know, we have the best production. Look at how clean our place is and how much new equipment we have. It's just impossible. Our drink is the best in this village. No one came to us with complaints. Most likely, someone deceived you. Mikey, to be honest, I have to tell you now. I've been joking with you all this time. You drank salty Pepsi that time and got burned. Just please don't get mad at me too much. Oh no, it seems Mikey doesn't want to listen to me right now. Uh-oh. How could you do this to me? I'm going to hit you with a sword. You better run, otherwise it will hurt you a lot. You have no idea how angry I am at you right now. You ruined the whole vacation and I had a very bad day because of you. So now I'm going to ruin it for you. I will do my best to destroy it. I just ran to Mikey's house. I need to hide so that he runs through and doesn't notice me. <gasps> Where has he gone now? Most likely he ran on. You need to track and catch him in all possible ways. Great, I managed to trick Mikey. It's very good. I'm near his house now. I'll make traps for Mikey. Now we need to make a very large pit near his porch and pour a lot of Pepsi into it. I think Mikey will definitely not find out about this and will definitely fall into the pit. The trap should be invisible. The hole must be very deep right now so that Mikey can't get out of it himself. Therefore, I will dig up as much land as possible. But it has to be the whole width of the porch so that Mikey can't pass by. I'm doing very well right now and the work is progressing as planned. Now it's time to pour out the Pepsi and cover the trap with fake blocks. 
I'm sure Mikey will be back here soon, and I definitely need to finish this trap on time. I don't want him to notice me, otherwise my plan will completely fail. I'm expanding my trap now, it's going to be right in front of the porch. Now everything is ready to run away. No one will be able to guess about this trap, I'm sure. <laughs> now I've done everything as planned, it's time to hide behind the wall. I hope Mikey will come here. Great, I can see him. I still haven't found JJ. Oh no, I just fell into a trap. You did it all, I knew it. Why are you making fun of me now? Let go. Oh. Super, Mikey is trapped now. I can do whatever I want in his house. It's time to go up to the roof now because I want to flood his house with Pepsi. I think it will be a lot of fun if I pour a lot of buckets from the roof, then the house will be completely covered with liquid. Mikey will be very surprised when he gets out of the hole. Ho <laughs> oh, ho, now I'm continuing on, and in no case am I distracted. I'm going to need a lot of buckets of Pepsi. Whole rivers of this drink should flow down from the roof. Soon the house will be completely flooded. He wanted to drink a lot of cool drinks, and I'll do it for him. Now Pepsi is dripping from the roof of Mikey's house. This is a very funny prank. I'm sure Mikey will be very offended with me when he sees what happened to his house. But I'm definitely not going to stop now. I still have a lot of buckets that I have to pour out. I'm really good at flooding Mikey's house right now. Now I just want to laugh because of this joke. I've never seen such a huge amount of Pepsi. It literally covers this house completely. I poured a lot of it on the roof and did not expect that the consequences would be like this. I can't imagine how upset Mikey will be when you see what really happened to his house. I want to go downstairs as soon as possible now and look at all this from the outside. I'm pouring out the last bucket. It will definitely be enough. I think there is too much Pepsi now and the house is completely in this drink. I can't believe my eyes. From the outside, Mikey's house is completely flooded. I want to go inside now and see what he keeps in his drawers. So far, Mikey hasn't returned. I can take advantage of this. It is very difficult to pass through the liquid. Hmm. I need to hurry up. I'm already going up to the second floor. Now I'm in Mikey's room. He probably has a lot more buckets and spikes here. I have to check the trap now. I hope Mikey is still sitting there. I'll try to pour even more liquid in there. Then Mikey definitely won't be able to get out. I have buckets and spikes now. It's time to dig out the trap. Uh-oh. It can't be. It seems Mikey has just made a dig and still managed to escape. It's too bad. Now he can come back at any moment. I have to prepare very well now. It's time to set a huge number of traps in front of his house. I'm going to set up a lot of spikes. <laughs> They must completely surround Mikey's house. Then he will stay there and will not be able to leave. I am sure that it will be very difficult to live in a house that is completely flooded with Pepsi. I got distracted because I need to keep putting up spikes. I don't want Mikey to get out now. He definitely won't be able to jump over them. I'm sure of it. My work is now completely finished. The house is flooded with Pepsi and surrounded completely by a lot of spikes. <sighs> Horror! Now my house is completely flooded with Pepsi and I can't even get out properly because it's surrounded by spikes! What have you done now? I will definitely take revenge on you for this. I have prepared very well, and now I have an idea. I will try to scoop out all the liquid with buckets and I am sure that I will be able to do it. I'm going up to the roof! <laughs> Mikey has now really decided to rid his house of Pepsi. I am sure that he is very angry now and will do everything possible to correct the consequences of the flood. He will have to scoop out a huge number of buckets. I have a very good idea. I'll just pour a lot of Pepsi inside his house. I'm sure he's not ready for this, so now we need to do everything very carefully. I don't want to make mistakes so that Mikey can live in this house again. Oh. I'm going to need a lot of buckets if I spill everything inside. Then Mikey definitely won't be able to get Pepsi out of here. I keep pouring the drink. I'm able to flood the house inside. I'm doing everything on the ground floor right now, and I think I'll definitely need to go up to the second floor next. But now, we need to pour the Pepsi so that it spills to the ceiling. I think I can do it if Mikey doesn't come back here. While he's busy with work, I doubt he'll get Pepsi off the roof quickly. I still can't believe I spilled so many buckets. The room is now completely immersed in liquid, flooded furniture and appliances that stood inside this room. Huh? Mikey does not yet suspect that he will have to scoop buckets of liquid out of here. I'm having a lot of fun right now. It's a cool joke. I wonder if Mikey is finished now or not? I'll pour out the last remnants of Pepsi and go up to the second floor. 
because there is not such a large amount of drink there. I want to watch Mikey come down from the roof and see what really happened to his house inside. Now he definitely won't be able to wash the furniture. <laughs> it's time to finish. I'm going up to the second floor. Now I want to see from the ledge what Mikey is doing. I can already see that he has eliminated all the effects of Pepsi. I can't believe my eyes. My house is completely covered in Pepsi inside. How is this possible? I've scooped all the drink from the roof with buckets. I don't understand how this happened at all. Yep. Mikey, how have you not figured it out yet? Look up quickly. I told you a long time ago that this would be a very cool joke and I finally got it. Now your house is completely in Pepsi and you will have to bail out all the liquid from there. I hate you. You ruined my house in the whole weekend I was planning. I'm going to work. I have a lot of problems right now. I managed to make fun of Mikey and pour a lot of Pepsi into his house. He has not been able to rest. It amuses me very much. <laughs> That's how our incredible adventure ended.